Before we try to explain how first ionisation energies change as I move down a group in the periodic table, it's worth reminding ourselves of the IB definition of first ionisation energy. And it's the amount of energy required to remove one mole of electrons from one mole of gaseous atoms. Put simply, we are trying to remove one electron from an atom. And we often represent this with a general equation, something like this which shows my one mole of gaseous X atoms becoming one mole of gaseous positive X ions and then there's the one mole of electrons that we've removed. So let's now draw a, a graph of the first ionization energies of the group one metals. And if I look in the data booklet and find those first ionization energies and plot them on this graph they look something like this. And there is a clear general trend here of decreasing ionisation energy as I go down my group from lithium to sodium to potassium, so on, down to francium. And we need to be able to explain why this is. In order to do so, let's have a look at the period number of each element in the periodic table. And that period number tells me which energy level the valence electrons in that element are found. And because we're talking about ionisation energy, we're interested in trying to remove one of those valence electrons. So for lithium, which is in period 2, the valence electrons are in the second energy level. For sodium that's found in period 3, the valence electrons are found in the third energy level, and so on. So as I move down my group in the periodic table, the valence electrons are further and further from the nucleus, meaning that there is going to be less electrostatic attraction between the nucleus and the valence electrons, and therefore less energy is going to be required to remove that valence electron. Students often make a good point here, and they ask that if the number of the protons in the nucleus is also increasing, shouldn't that increase the electrostatic attraction to the valence, energy, uh, valence electrons. So let's see if we can address that point. So let's add to our data the number of protons in each of those elements. And yes, I can see that the number of protons increases quite significantly as I move down the, down the group, but let's now write down the number of shielding electrons from inner energy levels and consider the impact they have. So as you can see, although the number of protons is increasing significantly, the number of shielding electrons is actually increasing proportionately as well. So that means that al although the number of protons is increasing, the number of shielding electrons increases proportionally, meaning the effect is cancelled out. So to explain the first ionisation energy decreasing down a group, we're interested in the distance of the valence electrons from the nucleus. Let's quickly summarise that key point that would be expected in an exam question. The general trend in ionisation energy down a group is decreasing. And this is because the valence electrons are further from the nucleus, meaning there is less electrostatic attraction between those electrons and the nucleus. And this means that less energy is required to remove one of those valence electrons. Hopefully this video has been of some help.